Good day, Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, San Carlinian learners. Airing live from the Mangu Bumbu capital of the Philippines, San Carlos City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDOSCC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center. A virtual home of every STO SEC learner. Good day everyone! Welcome to another learning session here at CCM, the virtual home of all San Carlinian learners. Dahil sa CCM, madaling matuto ng math. I am Mrs. Joyce D. Lorenzo from Speakers Eugenio Perez National Agricultural School, your teacher webcaster for today. Before we start, here are some important reminders to keep in mind. One, prepare your pen, your paper, and your self-learning module for you to follow in any of the activities given. Two, stay alert and focused in the discussion. Three, participate actively by writing your answers in the comment section. So, are you now ready to learn? Let us first review our past lesson by doing the warm-up activity. Okay, so the direction, identify the kinds of angles. So I give five items for you to identify the different kinds of angles. You can type your answers in the chat box below. Don't be shy. Okay, let's answer. Number one, is your answer an obtuse angle? Then you get it right. How about number two? Right angle, very good. Three, it is an acute angle. Four, another acute angle. And the last but not the least, yes, it is definitely an obtuse angle. Correct, you are doing good. I think you are now ready for our new lesson. But before we proceed, let us do another activity entitled, Who's My Pair? Directions. So you have to identify any two angles that will give a measure of sum of 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Then complete the table with these angle pairs. Write your answers on your answer sheets or you can chat or you can type your answers on the chat box. Okay, so we have eight angles. Okay. So I give you time to choose their pair. So I'm waiting for your answer. Just type your answers on the chat box. Thank you. Okay, let's answer then. Okay, on the 90 degrees, we have angle 4 combined to angle 7, angle 3 combined to angle 6, and for 180 degrees, we have angle 1 and angle 5. For another 180 degrees, we have angle 2 and angle 8. Are your answers are the same as mine? Great! So watch how these angles were formed. What do you notice? How many angles were combined? Okay, just comment on the comment section, please. Yes, I saw some answers. Yes, two angles were combined. Other answers are always in pair. Correct. Your answers have something deals with our new lesson for today, which is the pairs of angles. 
The relationship that exists between any two angles can be made as the basis for classification. There are different kinds of angles classified in this in this manner and they we call it angle pairs. Okay, so our lesson for today is about lines and angles, specifically pairs of angles from your week 2 module 2. Our learning activities or learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to identify and illustrate the different kinds of angle pairs, such as the supplementary angles, complementary angles, congruent angles, adjacent angles, vertical angles. And for the second objective, we have appreciate pairs of angles as a vital part of our daily life. is a set of two things used together in what subject do you encounter this word again feel free to answer or comment your type your answers on the chat box below okay again what particular subject do you encounter this word pair yes it is integrated in your mappy subject such as, okay, who among you joined the sports dance, such as the ballroom dancing? Because we have two categories of ballroom dancing, which are the Latin and the standard. Where in the standard pairs, the pairs or the couples will be separated, while the Latin, they, can on, they cannot be separated. Have you tried dancing on it? Oh, it's fantastic. Is there anything else? Yes, nice answer. In playing games such as chess, billiards, badminton, table tennis, and lawn tennis. Have you played Dama 2, Dama, and Sai Dama? These are games that are usually, usually played in pairs. Okay, so we have the different kinds of angle pairs. The first one is the adjacent angles. Or the first one, or... Okay, these adjacent angles are two angles that have the common vertex and a common side, but do not overlap. Okay, I have given here some examples. Okay, take note, look at the examples. Angle 1 and angle 2. Okay, in angle 1 and angle 2, though they have common vertex, yes, though they have common side, yes. How about this one? Okay, is angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles? Yes, definitely no, because they don't have common vertex. How about this one? Okay, are they adjacent angles? Yes, because even though they have the common vertex, but they do not have the common side, so they are not adjacent angles. The last example. Okay, you are correct. They are not adjacent because they overlap with one another. Okay, so that, are, that is an adjacent angles. Those are the examples of adjacent angles. Okay, the second one, we have the complementary angles. Complementary angles, two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Okay, I have here the examples. So, angle, uh, measure of angle ADB plus angle BDC is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, that is 90 degrees. Okay, so even though they don't have measures, how do you identify that their measures is 90 degrees? Yes, because of the mark on the, on the illustration. And what do you call that mark? Yes, we call it a foot. Okay, very good. So if you see that one, it is equal to 90 degrees or the sum of the, the, the two measures, sum, whose sum is 90 degrees. Okay, so angle ADB plus angle BDC is equal to 90 degrees, 90 degrees again. Okay, we're in ADB, the measure of AD, angle ADB is 60 degrees, 
while the other one, angle BDC, measures 30 degrees. Okay, so 60 plus 30 equals 90. Now, my question, if they are complementary, let's go back with the first lesson that we have discussed. Are they adjacent? Okay, very good. They are adjacent because they have common vertex and common side. Okay, so angle ADB and angle BDC are complementary angles and adjacent angles. Okay, next one. So angle A measures 45 degrees. Well, angle B measures another 45 degrees. So if we sum their measures, the answer is 90 degrees. Okay, are they complementary angles? Yes, because their sum is 90 degrees. But are they adjacent? Yes, definitely you are correct. They are not adjacent because they don't have common in point and common side. Okay, how about this one? Angle A is 40, measures 40 degrees, while angle B measures 50 degrees. Okay, their measure, if we get the sum of their measures, is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, therefore, angle A and angle B are just complementary, but not adjacent angles. Okay, the third pair of angles. Okay, that's complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measure is 180 degrees. Okay, so angle ADB plus angle BDC is equal to 180 degrees. So 45 plus 135, it measures 180 degrees. Okay, another example. So angle ADB plus angle BDC, another 180 degrees. So pardon for the typo uh, typographical error. Maybe it is not compatible with, my, uh, with the other computer that I used. Okay, so we have 130 degrees plus 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, they are 180 degrees. The measure of their sum is 180 degrees. So angle ADB and angle BDC are supplementary. Are they adjacent? Yes, because they share the common vertex and a common side. How about this next example or illustration? Okay, angle A, 45 degrees. While angle B measures 135 degrees. Okay, if you get the sum of the two angles, it is equal to 180 degrees. So are they supplementary? Yes, definitely they are supplementary. But are they adjacent? Yes, you are correct. They are not adjacent because they do not share a common vertex and a common side. So angle A and angle B are supplementary, but not adjacent angles. Okay, three to go. So linear pair. Two angles form a linear pair when they are adjacent and supplementary. Take note of the highlighted words, adjacent and supplementary. And the other one is line because, okay, angle ADB, measures 45 degrees and angle BDC measures 135 degrees which is equal to when we add them the, e the equivalent is equal to 100 or their sum is equal to 180 degrees okay so 45 degrees plus 135 degrees is equal to 180 degrees next one okay same with the example that I've used a while ago why yes because take note of the two highlighted words. They are adjacent and supplementary, and they form a line. So therefore, we consider them as linear pair, okay? Just like in the last illustration. If you see the foot, that makes it 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 equals 180 degrees, okay? So what is your conclusion now? These are linear pairs because they form a, li a line and they are adjacent and supplementary. How about this one? Okay, angle A measures 45 degrees while angle B measures 135 degrees. Are they linear pair? Okay, definitely they are not linear pair because they are not adjacent. But are they supplementary angles? Yes, because their measure is equal to 90. If we add the measures is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, 
angle A and angle B are supplementary but not linear pair. Okay. Do you have any question? Please comment in the chat uh, comment section. Okay, congruent angles. These angles are congruent if their some if their measures are equal. Okay, take note of the word equal. Okay, so we have another example. Angle ADB plus angle BDC is equal to 90 degrees. So angle ADB measures 45 degrees plus the measure of angle D BDC, which is 45 degrees, and that is equivalent to 90 degrees. Okay, so angle ADB and angle BDC are congruent angles. So we have the symbol for congruent. So angle ADB congruent to angle BDC. Therefore, measure of angle ADB congruent to the measure of angle BDC. Next one. Okay, again, that is perpendicular. So the, uh, the angle EOB equals what, 90 degrees, while angle LOE equals 90 degrees. So if we sum, add the sum of the two angles, it is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay, so they are congruent, so angle LOE congruent to angle EOV. So measure of angle LOE congruent to measure of angle EOV. Okay, the last one, the vertical angles. So vertical angles are formed when two straight lines intersect each other. Their sides form two pairs of opposite rays, and their angles are non-adjacent. Okay, so angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. Angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. If measure of angle 1 is equal to 125, then what is the measure of angle 3? Okay, take note. Angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. So vertical angles are always congruent. So, what will be the measure of angle 1? Very good. The measure of angle 1 is also 125. Okay. If measure, measure of angle 1 is equal to 125, then what is the measure of angle 2? Okay. Angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 2 and angle 3. Angle 3 and angle 4, angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary angles. So, if measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees, and measurement of angle 1 or measure of angle 1 is 125, so let's substitute 125, plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. So, let us subtract both equation by 125 so measure of angle 2 is equivalent to 55 so are you with me yes okay now answer is measurement of angle 2 or measure of angle 2 is 55 degrees okay so angle 2 measure 55 while angle 4 measure also for 55 Okay, so let's do this. Based on the, uh, we have, okay. So we have, based on the given figure, tell whether angle one and angle two in each figure are only adjacent, adjacent and form a linear pair, or not adjacent. So letter A, we have, are they adjacent? Are they adjacent and form a linear pair, or not adjacent? Okay, comment your, or type your answers on the comment section. Okay, so I see some answers. So letter A, they are adjacent. Very good. Letter B, they are not adjacent. And letter C, they are adjacent and form a linear pair. Letter D, they are not adjacent. 
while letter E, they are adjacent and they form a linear pair. So from the discussion, what are the relationship among the pairs of angles? Okay, so we will now apply what we have learned a while ago. So letter A, I know you have some answers in mind, so do not be shy, don't be shy. You type your answers on the chat box. Okay, so number letter A, they are adjacent and they for they are complementary angles. While letter B, they are not adjacent, but they are congruent angles. Letter C, they are adjacent and supplementary angles, congruent angles, and linear pair. Letter D, they are not adjacent because the, 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 they form two pairs of congruent angles and they are vertical angles. And the last but not the least, they are adjacent, supplementary angles, and linear pair. Okay, so speaking of the relationship, I know that sooner or later, you will be looking for your partner or pair in life. Because I do believe that no man is an island. So you must consider the fact that these angles suggest. Okay. Malay mo, yung taong hinahanap mo o yung gusto mong maging partner ay nasa tabi mo lang pala. Dingding lang ang pagitan. Or kaya katapat ng bahay mo. Hindi mo lang alam. Baka malay mo mamaya, siya na, yung, siya na ang iyong ka-forever. So you must look for a congruent partner, not opposite to your ideas. He or she will complement and supplement you and always be adjacent to you no matter what. Okay, so let us transfer what we have learned by determining whether the statement is true or false. So again, type your answers on the chat box. For the group of my ODL class, I have uploaded another set of activities in your Google Classroom. But you must answer also for you to follow because it is synchronous to, our, to the given activity. Okay, so let us have this transfer, what you have learned. Directions determine whether each statement is true or false. So write your answer. It is either true or false. Okay, so number one, two angles that form a linear pair are supplementary. Okay, I'm waiting for your answer. Yes, very good. The answer is true. How about number two? Complementary angles form a linear pair. Correct? They are, the answer is false. How about three? Three angles can be complements, supplements, or adjacent. Nice answer. It is false. Number four. Congruent angles are vertical, are angles with exactly the same measure. Definitely, you are correct. The answer is true. The last but not the least, vertical angles are never congruent. Okay, I saw some answers. Yes, the correct answer is false because they are always congruent. Okay, I guessed you are now ready for your assessment. But before that, let us have our generalization first. So we have discussed six pairs of angles, namely complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, vertical angles, congruent angles, and linear pairs. Take note, vertical angles are always congruent and linear pairs are always supplementary angles and adjacent angles. Okay, so let us have our assessment. So, before we go to your assessment, please do be shy to chat or type your answers on the comment section or the chat box below. Okay, so for your assessment direction, read and understand each item, then choose the letter of your correct of your answer and write it on your answer sheet. This time, 
no no need to write it on your answer sheet just type your answers in the comment section okay first one which two angles are supplementary a 30 degrees and 60 degrees b 41 degrees and 139 degrees c 45 degrees and 145 degrees or letter d 23 degrees and 147 degrees okay i'm waiting for your answer okay very smart the correct answer is letter b second question which two angles are complementary a 30 degrees and 130 degrees b 20 degrees and 160 degrees c 45 degrees and 145 degrees or letter d 1 degree and 89 degrees okay answer please yes correct answer is letter b okay the third question what are vertical angles okay letter a angles that are adjacent to each other b angles that are opposite to each other when lines intersect letter c angles that add up to 180 degrees and letter d angles that add up to 90 degrees again type your answers on the chat box below okay nice job the correct answer is letter b number four question what is the best definition for supplementary angles a an obtuse and an acute angle b an acute and a right angle c two angles are supplementary when they add up to 180 degrees d two angles are supplementary when they add up to 90 degrees i'm waiting for your answer okay type the letter of your correct answer okay let's check the correct answer is letter c okay the last but not the least question number five angles a and b form a linear pair if angle b measures 87 degrees what is the measure of angle A? A, 103 degrees. B, 113 degrees. C, 93 degrees. Or letter D, 83 degrees. Okay, correct answer. Letter C. Okay, who amongst you got the perfect score? Oh, some of you are raising their hands. Good job. Keep up the good work. Okay, so for your assignment, answer this in a long pad paper and we will be collecting them during our module distribution and retrieval. Okay, for my ODL class, please upload your answers in our Google Classroom. Okay, so you can screenshot so that you can answer. So, with Carlin and Carlos, and yours truly, Mrs. Joyce Di Lorenzo, saying, it was indeed a joyful learning. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Papa, Papa, bilang dun si Stephen ko. Good day, Philippines. So, Mama, you guys reach the mall. Marami. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home for every SDOSCC learner, where passion is key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center.
a virtual home of every SPS single. Bilang. Ay, kinong, 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 kinong